Hi there guys, Vino here and welcome to this Vino Plunk production or should I say this Ashens production. So any of you any of you that get that reference then kudos to you. Ashens was very much part of my um inspiration when it comes to making my own YouTube channel. So I've just gotten back from a train trip and I've picked up this little I want to say beast, but I'm not sure that's the correct correct term right now so this is a sony handycam a mini dv sony handycam the dcr hc 24e so this camera or one very very like it was the camera that started my youtube channel now just a very quick story my original camera that started my youtube channel either got stolen when i was at college or fell out my bag as i was going down the the um a dual carriageway and it fell out my bag when I used to ride a motorbike. I think more likely it was stolen at college. However, the staff, my lecturers and teachers, were actually really helpful in trying to find it and locate it, relocate it rather. However, the staff, like the receptionists and what have you, seem to be very anti helping me when it comes to finance. So, unfortunately, that has lost to the annals of time. Um, but I found this on Facebook Marketplace recently and thought I'd pick it up. However, there are a couple of caveats when it comes to this. So the seller did say that it has been barely used. However, it's clearly been dropped. The battery is broken. And when you remove part of the battery compartment away from the area, there's a really weird residue that looks like congealed black currant juice. Shall we get into it? So if I open up the box... We have all of the bits and bobs. We got the instruction manual, really helpful. We have the picture package, which is actually really useful because I actually have an old Sony Vio laptop that I could use this with. It comes with a disc inside there. There you go, a disc that you can use to install the capturing software. Uh, whatever that is, a catalog, I think that is. And we've got whatever that is. And I think this is the warranty. Yep, guarantee information. So let's take this out. So you can see if I tip it up, it comes with all the different wires and whatever that you'd need. It comes with the charger. It comes with a USB to USB mini cable, the camera itself, we'll get to that in a moment. Plug, figure of eight cable. The seller has included three blank or new mini DV tapes. So here we go. Brand new sealed 60 minute premium mini DV tapes. And we have a controller which is always, always a nice plus. And we've got some extra, extra cables up here. We've got another USB to micro cable and whatever this is. Oh, this is the S-Video, S-Video to breakout cable. So let's put that to one side and let's have a look at the camera itself. So if we take out the camera, and the camera is actually rather sticky and we'll get to that in a moment this is the what's left of the battery compartment there we go I'm just going to have a look at myself close up very quickly hmm. so looking at the actual battery compartment itself or not the compartment the actual battery itself there's no residue on there so I'm not sure, and we'll get to it in a moment, where the residue that's in the actual battery compartment has come from. So this is the actual camera. And as I said, this takes me back because this camera, one very much like it, was what started my YouTube channel. Um, touch panel controls. I think the one that I had for my YouTube channel had some extra buttons on the inside there, but I can't quite remember. And if we take this off, there we go. That's how you capture. So you've got USB Firewire, which is actually better than USB. And that's the S-Video port. And that's how you capture your footage. 
But if we have a look around the camera, you can see there's a chunk of plastic missing there, clearly being dropped. There's a scuff there. And if we take off, I don't know if you can actually see this, but there's a slight deformation, I suppose, deformation, just there on the side of the, um, of the lens there. So clearly being dropped. But this is what we need to get to. So I try, I did get this off on the train. It was a pain in the ass to get off on the train, but actually it turns out it's far easier. And there we go. There's a weird purple residue. If we can actually maybe focus in on that. There's a weird purple residue. And look at the bottom of the battery. There it is again. But as I said, it's nowhere to be seen on the actual battery itself i don't think this is battery acid i think this is some kind of and also it's not on the inside and that is very sticky actually um i didn't want to get this out too much on the train because of this residue i think what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the recording i'm going to go away clean off this residue plug in the cables and what have you and let's see if this thing actually works because I have some reservations as to whether it's actually going to work or not. So I'll be back in a bit for you guys. It's going to be seamless, instantaneous for me. It's going to be a few more minutes while I wipe off whatever that residue is. So I'm back, guys. And there we go. I managed to clear off that residue. It has stained the bottom of the battery compartment. There it is. So it has stained it purple there, but I have managed to get it off and now the camera's not as sticky as it was. So that's a nice thing. But yeah, there we go. I might see if I can repair the battery and see if I can get that reattached at some point. But we'll look at that at a later date. But I suppose the, the proof is in the pudding. So I've actually had this plugged in. I used an old microfiber cloth with a bit of kitchen cleaner because I don't have any anything else really that I can use to clean that so let's plug in the connector well i'm gonna be honest color me surprised <laughs> even though the seller did say that it is functional though i don't know if you can see that weird artifacting on the screen so i There was some weird artifacting on the screen, but it does work. Completely works. The clock does need setting. The video compartment, the tape compartment works. I mean, why not break out one of these tapes? There's gotta be an easier way than this, surely. There we go. Just need to get it started. I have to say, I do like mini DV tapes. They definitely live up to that name when it comes to mini. Let's just put that over there for now. There we go, mini DV tape, fresh mini DV tape. Very nice. Pop that in. There we go. And just do a, a test recording. This is a test of the Sony Mini DV Handycam. Just gonna look over there, zoom in a bit. There we go. And then we're gonna change to that mode. Okay, we're going to rewind the tape. There we go. And then we're going to play it. This is a test of the Sony Mini DV Well, as far as I'm concerned, that works. So I'm actually quite happy, quite chuffed with the fact that works. 
even though it has some blemishes <laughs> and what have you and it's definitely seen better days i mean overall it's not in bad condition to be honest with you i was just a little worried with that residue and all the other different bits and bobs that it wasn't going to work but very happy to see that working so what i'm probably going to do is leave this video here and then i've got another video I'm probably going to shoot very quickly after this that i'm going to try and capture the footage from this using that using the cd and we're going to try and capture the footage but until next time guys please take care and as always enjoy the rest of your day ta -ra.